So I know I've renovated cluttered houses before, but this house right here is just kind of junky. And on the inside, it's kind of closed up and dark. So I'm going to open this up and change up the floor plan a little bit. Well, this is the house right here. As you guys can see, it is a little junky. It's got some stuff on the outside, some trash, a tub, a few chairs, a little bit of grass. It was much worse than this on the gallery. But as you guys know, some of the items disappear because I don't have that pack. So this kind of made it easier for me. But I'm going to just go ahead and remove all this little stuff from the exterior. Now that we got all that stuff removed i think we should go ahead and work on this exterior the first thing i want to do is add some white roof trimming and i'm definitely going to change up this roof pattern we're just going to slide this wooden you wonder roof pattern on here and on that garage okay, and i think we should just go ahead and change out these windows and doors so i'm gonna just grab some more modern style windows and doors i'm debating should i use the average naughty windows and doors yeah i think i'm gonna use the average naughty windows and doors so i'm gonna place that big window up front right there because that's the living room and then we'll do two of the well one and i'll place a door right here oh that's a little close to that window okay that looks better right there like that all right and up here this is the bedroom i'm thinking we need to lower this roof right here down one and then i'll place this window up here in the center where well, it needs to go over a little bit okay and this is one thing that i haven't i'm not sure if i've done this shit or i haven't done this in a while but i'm gonna use this black brick all the way around i don't know why i feel like using this but i just want to try using this all black brick all the way around and we'll run that around this garage also and then i'll go ahead and place some new roof trim on that garage and i think i should make this a little bit bigger because it just looks awkward this small with that big door on it so i'm gonna just pull that door over in the center and then raise these platforms up just a little bit on this house i'm just gonna go with a plain white foundation and around that garage and you guys know my final steps to the exterior which is running grass all the way around the yard for some reason it won't let me place grass in this area so i'm gonna just bulldoze the terrain and place the grass in the spots that it's allowing me to all right i almost forgot before we go into the interior i need to just go ahead and add some type of concrete to this front porch and i'm kind of going back and forth should i use a black or a white column this is what the black column looks like and then this is what the white column looks like i feel like the white column maybe all right now we can head into the interior as you guys can see this is kind of closed up and kind of dark so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and open up this wall and this wall right here and then right there is supposed to be a staircase down into the basement so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and draw a wall back right here and i'm not sure why it's not letting me place the staircase to this basement it was already gone i bought the house so maybe this is some type of glitch they got but this kind of looks like a prison cell or something down here we're just gonna go ahead and remove everything from down here and i guess we can act like this doesn't exist because the staircase wasn't even there for this basement so i'm gonna just go ahead and remove this stuff okay now it'll let me add the staircase since i removed all those walls and stuff so this basement will still be here but all i'm gonna do for now down here is just add some lights paint down here and add some floor Floors. all right so right here in this space we need to draw a square just to kind of like close that off remove this archway and remove that archway and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab my sledgehammer and just remove everything from down here because this is like the layout for down here and now into this upstairs space okay this is a little tight but i'm thinking about making it a little bit tighter because i want to have more than one bathroom in here so this upstairs space is going to be a little tight but i'm gonna just draw a two by two right there and then a one by one right here and and remove that door from there let's remove this furniture and stuff from up here and now i'm gonna add the lights and then i'm gonna just tell you guys how i'm gonna set up up here this room door have to go here this room door will go here and then the bathroom door will go right here and this space right here will be where i put a actual sim shower not a custom shower so when you walk in the shower be there and then the sink and toilet will be on this wall all right so let's get some lights back downstairs add this plain but pretty paint swatch all throughout up and downstairs run these hardwood floors throughout up and downstairs and i might not use them in the bathroom i might use something else in the bathroom but let's go ahead and change out these staircase railings and i'm gonna actually use this staircase railing that i haven't used in a while so we'll use that there run the fencing from that right here and i'm debating should i put the fencing right there or should i just leave a wall there i kind of think the fencing looks better right there all right so i know these cabinets right here kind of don't go with the floors but i'm thinking about either using this color or this color in the cabinets maybe we use 
this now i'm gonna use this color so i'm gonna run this around here she's just trying different designs and different colors together and then run this down like the right there boom so we can do the stove in that spot and then the refrigerator here and this has to be a real small kitchen because of the space and then we can do our sink here all right so above this sink we're gonna do a window we're gonna do a half a tile cabinet above that refrigerator and then full tile cabinets all the way around the rest of this kitchen and above that stove i think i want to do this custom stove in so we just need to shrink that down one take it turn on free placement and just slide it right in there and it fits like a glove and i'm kind of rethinking the color on these cabinets i know this color right here isn't a match with these floors either but i feel like this looks way better than those other cabinets i don't want to use the colors that i normally would use like the white or the black cabinets well dark brown all right so in that space beside that refrigerator i saved that space so we can put a little back door right there because that is a little deck slash patio right here and i think we should make this like a little overhead closed patio so let's just pull this down lower it pull it in add the roof pattern the little sides in just a little bit add some roof trimming and the white columns to go away okay and i don't know why this actually connected i didn't want this to connect but it's connected so let's just go ahead and pull that against the house like that you won't have access to it from the inside of the house but it's a little door right here that you can walk out and go into the garage and it's overhead so i guess that fits perfectly i'm not even gonna lie i want to get out my comfort zone with this and use different colors but i'm just not feeling these colors i think i should either go with these dark brown cabinets or the white ones which one y'all drop down in the comment section which one y'all think would look better the dark brown or the white cabinets i'm thinking the dark brown i just don't like the way those colors are going together so i'm gonna use these colors right here and that just made this look 10 times better plus we got the white and black um fencing and staircase railings all right so we got a nice little bathroom over here i'm gonna just take the cabinets out the kitchen one of the cabinets in place there do a nice Nice little sink bill hack in here. So I'm gonna take that, raise it up once, and just slide that right in there like that. Grab this little circle mirror and place on the back wall and then just simply grab a nice little toilet place there and a shower tub combo here and in this bathroom we can place a window above our toilet so i'm gonna just slide that there boom floors in here i really want to go with these black tile floors all right so let's place our door for that bathroom and that is complete i'm thinking this space right here or hold on let's set this living room up okay so i'm not gonna lie in this living room i want to do a custom fireplace i was trying not to i try not to do a custom fireplace in every build but not even lie it just makes my my bills look 10 times better so i'm gonna just take some cabinets and place on both sides of this even though that's kind of gonna be interfering with that window a little bit we're just gonna ignore that so we're gonna grab some brick and run around this fireplace i think i'm gonna just use the same black brick that i used in the exterior around this like it ties and with everything let's take this glass in this fireplace and put this gravel flooring in the bottom so let's stick a tv up on this we need to lift that up i'm gonna place some decent little furniture in here so i'm gonna just grab this little black couch i'm gonna place that right there and then slide one of these chairs over here and then one here because that couch doesn't come with a love seat so we're just gonna slide this black rug in the center and then a white coffee table on top of it and i almost forgot i need to place some immaculate shelving up here on these walls so we'll just run this on both sides oh and i kind of like that even though this side's a little bit lower than this side i kind of like the way it looks though boom so if we did the living room like that in this space right here we're just gonna do a small down room table since we didn't get to do an island in here and i'll just grab these chairs right here in this black color and place them around this table stick a nice little plant on top which i'm gonna shrink this plant down and raise it up and then move it around into the center of the table all right so that's our smaller dining room space that's the kitchen oh we need to do a backsplash in here should we go with a black backsplash in that kitchen i kind of like the way that look because we did the black around this so i think we should do a black backsplash in the kitchen and in this corner over here i'm looking back there and i'm thinking we should place a little plant back there so i'm gonna just slide this plant and this plant home oh, wait we're gonna rearrange them so i'm gonna stick this one in the back and then this one like right here all right so since this is right here let's just slide over to this garage let's remove this little stuff out of here let's paint in here with this plain but pretty paint swatch i like this mega front door but i'm gonna just change the color on it maybe we'll go black remove that ugly light i know this wouldn't like 
be a garage light, but I think I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna just shrink that down and place that in here. And then I'm gonna place these floors in this garage. And I think over here along this wall, we should do some cabinets for like tools and stuff. So I'm gonna just place three of those cabinets there and place some white immaculate shelvings like this up here all right so let's go upstairs now um we got this bathroom up here like i mentioned over here is where the shower is gonna go and i'm not gonna use the cabinet like i use downstairs i'm just gonna use this little single sink up here so i'll probably use this sink right here um a black mirror above that and then the toilet right beside it down there we use some other black tile floors but up here i'm gonna use these black limestone tile floors and also in this bathroom i can place a window above my toilet all right so in these bedrooms i'm gonna just go ahead and stick my window in here i'm gonna actually do two in here and then that bedroom right there has the biggest window so i don't have to add another window in here this is gonna be considered i guess the master so i'm gonna stick my bed against the wall place a dresser at the and then slide a nightstand right beside the bed and put the TV on this wall. All right, so we did some simple little decorations in here. I think we should just add a rug, maybe something like that. And then over here is the kids' bedroom or guest bedroom. So you guys know the routine. I'm gonna just stick some bunk beds in here, stick a dresser over here. I'm gonna push that against the wall so that door will be able to open. Slide a TV above it and simply slide a rug in front of these bunk beds. Okay. And one thing that I noticed that we missed on the exterior is this little front porch. So what I'm going to do first of all is slide this step down here on this side and this side. Copy this column and place here. And I hope this don't turn out ugly, but I just want to place a little fencing right there and a little fencing right here. Oh, and a little one right here. And I'm not sure if we'll be able to place a driveway because something is going on with the ground right here. Okay, we can place a little walkway from there. But we can't run one up from that garage. But I'm going to just do something like this right here. They got like a little platform or something right here. I'm not sure, but we're just going to do that like that. And then we need to come and do the same thing on this back patio porch thing. So I'm going to just go ahead and stick a step. Grab that fencing and stick there and here. And run it around that. And now I just need to place a railing here. I'm not sure, should I stick columns right here here yeah that looks all right and we did a fireplace in here so I might just do like a little chimney thing right here I forgot how you honestly do it I think you gotta build I know you have to grab one of these but I think you're supposed to build like a half wall around it or something aren't you supposed to like put a half wall around it to make it look real okay so we just need to place some white half wall trimming on top of that and then run this black brick around this even though it's a lot of black on the exterior i just feel like it looks good with the white trimming all the way around all right you guys and this chunky house is now fully renovated as you guys remember this garage was a detached garage it was a small garage oh honey we need to slide this door for a little bit but like i was saying that was a detached garage and we ended up attaching it on um, the exterior we repainted it had new windows new doors and then i added a chimney for the new fireplace we did this step oh we didn't add the railings okay let's add the railings and we totally redid this little front porch now let's go into the interior and get a quick look at this um this is our living room space you guys know i didn't do too much decorating i just added a little furniture and let that be that that's the living room this is the dining room wait we got fencing right there hold up i did not mean to place this here let's draw a wall back there and make sure we throw some paint on it all right so we got the little dining room space like i was saying and we got a nice little kitchen right here oh we got the paint mess the backsplash messed up let's fix that now hopefully we can go through this without having to fix anything else but a nice little kitchen right here with the black and white backsplash um this is the little main floor bathroom pretty decent and then we got a basement right here but i didn't do anything down here i'm gonna just leave this as space for whoever buys this house on the gallery or whatever they can do whatever they want with that but that is the main floor let's head upstairs up here is a little tight now but i feel like it works perfectly so we got the master right here like i said i just did simple decorations in here just put the bed the dressers and the tvs and stuff like that got the second bedroom right here this is like a guest slash kids bedroom whatever you want it to be and then you got another bathroom right here which in that basement you can put like two more bedrooms and then another bathroom but I'm gonna just leave that for whoever but this is the upstairs bathroom and yeah that is our junkie house renovation you guys drop down in the comment section let me know what y'all think it is and I'm not even gonna lie for last week I just been kind of like not feeling the renovations but after doing this I kind of want to get back into doing a lot more renovations like this I'm not sure how you guys feel about the GTA videos y'all drop down in the comment section and let me know but I think I'm gonna just go back to doing the renovations the renovation challenges and then doing 100% 
100 baby challenge and probably doing like some little house builds and stuff i'm not sure but i'm gonna definitely get back into the content grind i just been kind of off with like content for the last week or so but i'm back at it and yeah i'm gonna be bringing you guys more renovations like i used to